Hi guys, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to solve short division problems in this book, basically. And short division includes multiplication. Well, let's get started. Short division. You want to write with me? You can. Write the heading, short division. If I say... 30 divided by 5. Example, 30 divided by 5. What does it mean? First, make a box like this. I'm going to show you. Make a box like this. Sorry, not this. This page. Make a, you see how I made the box? Here. I do that. And then, then first in the in the left side of your paper, there's it's outside of the box, right there, right there five. And five times what gives you thirty? Five times six gives you thirty, right? So you write six on top of that box, like this. Like that and then then write 30 in the box write 30 in the box and then my with put minus put minus sign and then write the 30 again and then 0 minus 0 is 0 3 minus uh, 3 is 0 what did you get? You got 6 remainder 0. And how how I got that is because of the quotient and remainder. But not all questions are like 6 remainder 0. Some questions can have the wrong answers of multiplication. If it's the wrong answers, try and multiply the closest one. In your multiplication tables. Multiply the closest one. When you multiply the closest one, one, write on top of it like how much did you divide it by. Like 5 times 6, 6 is where I divided it by. Write it on top and then the answer write it on like 30. It may give you the wrong answer but still you have to write the the wrong, the closest answer and then you have to write on bottom the correct answer and then you have to minus it by minus it by 3 3 whatever you wrote in the mid, in the in the book you have to minus it by if you get both 0 0 then the top the top what you wrote is the quotient Is a quotient and the answer you got zero zero is the remainder so now we got the remainders as zero we got the remainder as zero well I'll show you another problem like by myself instead of you guys doing it. you guys can just see the page don't worry about the other pages so I'm gonna write the other question example 25 divided by 7 equals dash well if you want to divide 25 divided by 7 first you got to make that box i told you and then you have to write um, how i divide how i divided it here here, do you, do you guys see here is 7 where I wrote? That you have to book, you have to put on the left side of your box. Write 7 on the left side of the box and 25 in the middle of the box. And then 7 times dash will give you 25. This now is the wrong answer. This is the wrong answer they're giving. 
7 times nothing gives you 25 in the multiplication tables. But the closest one is 7 divided by 3 equals uh, 21 is the closest one you can get. So, you write 3 on top of the box. And then below the 25, you write minus, you write minus, minus the correct answer. What I told you is 21. Then if you do the, if you do the mental subtraction, you get 5 minus 1 is 4, 2 minus 2 is 0. So you get your answer as the quotient on top of the, uh, on the quotient on top of the uh, box that's the quotient and the quotient is 3 that's what the answer is and the remainder is what you got by subtracting the wrong answer and the correct answer that's 25 and 21 so you got the answer for 25 divided by 7 equals 3 remainder 3 remainder 4. 3, you can say it as 3 R4 because 3 is the quotient and R is for remainder and the remainder shows that it's 4. So you can say 3 R4 as the thing. Let's do another hard question. Let's see. Okay, maybe let's do one question. That we've never answered before. So. Let's do. 27. Divided by 7. Let's see if we can first do that question. Right. Draw the box. Put the 7. Put the 7 in what we divided. Put it on the left side of the box. And then. Put 27 in the middle, like where, uh, like in the box. Put 27. And 7 times dash gives you 27. 7 times dash gives you not, not 27. 7 times 4 will give you 20. 7 times 4. So basically, 7... Seven times four. We'll do it as seven times four. Seven times four will equal twenty-eight, as you know. So twenty-eight is the closest number to the to no tw no twenty-seven is the closest number and twenty-eight is the correct answer. So below twenty-seven, write a. Uh, don't write below 27 and below 7 where you wrote put a minus sign and then below 27 you should put the correct answer that's 28 and then minus it by 7 uh, 7 times 8 but if the the top number if the top number cannot uh, subtract the the more the taller number that is 8 then you have to borrow from 2 yeah so for 27 divided so for 27 divided by for 27 divided by 7 I think the answer is well, we don't know that question. I'm giving you guys this a question you guys have to solve. I already know this. You guys have to solve this. Yeah, you guys have to solve this. And by the next episode, you guys have to tell me if what's the answer for 27 divided by 7. I'm going to leave that question. So... If now, if do you understand division, if you understand short division now, great for you because you can solve division problems now if you're struggling on division. Yeah, so 
if you're struggling struggling on division i just gave this episode for how to solve long division bye guys please subscribe to my channel like this video see you later